Hello, my name is Scott Middlebrooks. I work here at ASML in the research department. And for today's whiteboard session, I'll be answering the question, how do we go from chip design to manufacturing? Our previous whiteboard sessions, we spent a lot of time talking about ASML's technology. But our mission at ASML is to serve the customer, who are the chip manufacturers. Now, I've worked on both sides of the aisle. I've worked in a chip manufacturing facility, and I work now at ASML. So we thought it'd be interesting to describe how our customers go from design to manufacturing. Now, up here on the board, I plot yield as a function of years. Now, the first point I want to make is that designing a chip and taking it to full-scale mass production is expensive. It's uh, complex. It's ex actually risky. So we want to make sure that we get each phase of this development right. And we see about four separate phases. The first phase is the design phase. Now, in this phase, our customer has a certain circuitry that they want to make onto the silicon. This circuitry does some function that they require with the constraints that they require, with the performance that they require. Now, at ASML at this stage, we take these requirements and we optimize them such that this image can be imaged through our lithography systems. This is the design phase. Some of the products that we bring to bear here at ASML are our computational lithography products. The next part of this curve is the develop phase. Now at this phase, the big question is, can we take this design and can we actually image it onto the silicon? So can we take this little design and put it onto a wafer? Now at this part of the curve, we're very limited. We take just a few scanners and we figure out what's the best set of settings such that the scanner can image this device. Now, once we know this optimum, now this optimum is only for a few wafers. It's, it's not ready to be scaled yet. So our process window is very small. What this process window means is, is how much variability can we tolerate before this device doesn't yield. Now we're starting to enter into the pilot phase. At the pilot phase, we try to expand this process window. We try to make it broader such that we can bring in more scanners into to the production environment but then bringing in more scanners brings in more variability. So we want to make sure that we can tolerate this variability. Once we expand this process window, we've locked in our scanners. We've made sure that they all match. We make sure they match based on overlay, based on critical dimensions, other metrics that we have. Once we know that they're matched, we know that this will yield. After the customer completes the pilot phase, he then moves on to the final phase, which is the mass production phase. At this point, the customer ramps up production. His goal is to make as much product as fast as he can but while maximizing yield and minimizing loss. ASML's role at this stage kind of changes. Our metrics at this point are, are we're concerned more with uptime. Do the scanners match? How long do they stay up? The, the mean time between failures. We're worried about redundancy, that sort of thing. Can we replace the scanner quickly if there's a failure? All with the goal of maximizing the customer's yield so he can run product 24-7, 365 days a year. That's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please post them below. Thank you.